one, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Bit of a short one. Uh, Petra Gurin is at 500k. Uh, I don't know if this is going down or going up. Most of them are still decreasing. Luca may be 1 million subscribers by the end of the year. Only one has significant increase in subscriber is Meloko. It's because she has many collaborations with JP, not only in the Sanji, but also Hololive. Basically, JP and sometimes Moonlight's is EN member. They do merge branches in the future. Meloko's only female EN member that could be surviving long term. Imagine Vox and Luca having to decrease below uh, 1 mil. That'd be interesting. Honestly, the fact that it's still going down surprises me. We're over three months in and nearly all of them are still bleeding subs because I think it's, you know, not necessarily because of me, because of people like Kyo. Bigger people are still putting out stuff, you know, like Asmongold, Kyo. Uh, False has been away for a bit, but I think he's taking a vacation, which is much needed. I would expect them to be stable on a really slow growth. Instead, we get more people leaving. Maybe YouTube automatically purging dead subs after ma many did it manually, but it usually happens in bulk, not as slowly as this. She did hit below 500k at one point a few months ago before 3D went live. It rebounded back to 500k a few hours after some people noticed it. Though I may not be sure if this one day will bounce back. Who knows? Because Petra is one of the people that really hasn't been involved in drama per se. She's been involved in Nidhi Sanji love stuff, but not, not uh, drama. Man, it was bad enough that Obsidia got butchered into the AR live. It's going to be a sad day, sadly. It's a side effect of the whole fiasco. EN is really going to be affecting everybody it gets. It hurts to watch another one of those lose their milestones, short-term pain in exchange for long-term success. The fact that so many people are leaving is a sign that Petra's fans care enough to boycott and rob Niji of their money. They're not necessarily boycotting Petra, I don't think, but they're boycotting the agency itself. Uh, she knows exactly what is, why her subscriber count is dropping. They all know they're losing subs. They all know why they're losing CCV and Super Chats as well. They need to keep their heads down and pretend not to notice because, it, you know, Nidhi Sandy's forcing them to do a lot of things. And of course, they're going to be forcing them to do a lot of things. And they can't afford to get terminated, a lot of them. A lot of them depend on Nidhi Sanji for their livelihood. Of course, they can't afford to be terminated. And that sucks. Um, and they're just all waiting for the, the probably a lot of them are waiting. Like like uh, Bonavir Pranaja waited until his, his uh, contract was pretty much up. Uh, not like the company would ever comment on numbers dropping. They're too busy pulling out costs anyways. So, yeah. Unfortunately, Petra is getting hit by this, but it's expected during all this stuff that's happening. The most recent update we have on the Nidhi Sanji subreddit stuff is that you have to actually uh, message mods to be allowed permissions to actually use the uh, posting part, even responding, even replying. You have to have mod permission to reply. So they have gone full on, you know, 1984 dystopian type of thing. Rest in P, uh, Nidhi Sanji sub, you'll hardly be missed. Probably means a quarter four report. Is worse than they ever imagined. Yeah, it's probably it's probably honestly. Uh, it sounds like uh, a rumor, and for now, I guess it is a rumor because we don't have the actual quarter four report. So I will mark this as a rumor, a theory, whatever. Um, probably means a quarter four report is bad. They fired an intern uh, to cut costs. <laughs> That'd be funny if they did that. Matches the mods is greater than cursing them in the message. I guess they were tired of banning one account at a time, so they said F it and just made it, you know, restricted, which is very true. Blocking comments now. Only approved users can comment. The same thing we said before. Uh, approved users are the only ones that can comment now, apparently. Uh, quarter four must really be looking bad. What they're doing isn't going to make it fire go away. Makes it even hard, more excited to see the quarter four report. Yep, makes it excited to see the quarter four report, honestly. Uh, I guess quarter four turned out to be much worse than they all thought. Holy damage control. Hope Ninja realizes the, con the constant censoring is not going to go well for them. Absolutely will not. They either miss or barely hit the quarter four plans. The only reason they are attempting to implement gag order online is because of something like that, most likely. And people are saying, you know, the great purge is coming again. If the rumors rats are true, the black company and their associates are roaming around targeting critics, news, bad RPs, and great purge, we need to do the following. Backup important documents, screenshots, everything like that. Addition to this might be worth joining, creating another subreddit, like Niji Forums, um, to Niji Forum, in order to, uh, to go into doing more stuff. Inform the big news tubers. Uh, JP, uh, to add JP translations to their videos, especially Nidhi Sanji ones, continue to boycott their videos and especially their merch and advertisements. If they want radio silence, then we give them radio silence, you know, that type of stuff. Whether the purge is true or not, it's important to keep documents and other information. And this is, of course, the reason I'm covering it here is because it does kind of fit with the, uh, the situation that's happening on the subreddit. It seems like they're trying to purge everything that has to do with anything negative about Nidhi Sanji. Get hit in the near future. I can tell you we aren't going to go down without a fight. Hopefully, they, they you know, nothing will happen. Uh, the original owner of Nidhi Sanji subreddit made comments in a thread on virtual YouTubers that made it sound as if Nidhi Sanji was taken over without the consent of himself and the owner of the mod team. So, yeah, 
the full original thread in question, this one here, which is basically saying uh, this person here is uh, saying that they were taken over uh, by Nidhi Sanji uh, people overall. Uh, and it seems to be seems to have just been a takeover, a hostile takeover. Time the only thing I've seen a screenshot of the post from Red Yoshikira, Yoshikara, Yoshikira, uh, which I posted in another topic. So yeah, basically it seems like it's a hostile takeover from Nidhi Sanji on the subreddit as we're seeing right now. If any color doesn't meet their quarter four forecast, the company will have a completely bloody year. The no quarters have equated or exceeded the forecast. The forecasts are always a little bit too high. I think they set the goals too high because they really want a lot of money. But ever since June four, June 14th of 2023 was the last time they uh, they had that. June 13th is usually when they prop things out. So they're 7.79 billion. They actually, the forecast is a little bit, I guess, more honest with themselves. So they may get close to that forecast if revenues go based on what has happened before. I don't even know what that means, but it's just beautiful. Essentially, Opie's image shows the last couple of quarterly reports. Need to release, for example, using the image, the quarter three report, they projected they would earn 9.28 billion yen. Uh, the report showed that they missed it at 7.79. Quarter two report, projection 8.73, next 6.54. This shows for the entire last year, Niji missed the projected revenue each quarter, showing that they have a bad year and they had less growth than expected. And it'll show investors that Niji might be in a slump and they might need to pull out, especially in quarter four. Miss it. If quarter four misses the, the, the mark, then yes, it's going to be really bad. Sell, 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 in freaking uh, Parrot 4chan's voice. Here is a source because, of course, we always want the sources for everything in here, investing.com. This is the 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 things here. Uh, March 15th, they had they, they beat expectations. So in the last year, their expectations have been low. And, you know, things right here. Of course, I always like showing sources. That's why I'm glad that this person did show a source uh, in regards to everything so that we can kind of see that they aren't just making it up. They aren't just adding, you know, forecasts that they think. Pardon the, the our question, but uh, forecast means is this targeted the company. Yes, forecast, forecast means what the company is expecting to happen. And a lot of companies do that. Hollow Life Cover does that as well. Um, and people are saying that this might be why they are restricting uh, the stuff in the Nidhi Sanji subreddit. If memory serves, there's mandatory Q&A session between investors and CEO during quarterly meetings. During the quarter three release, uh, for example, one investor directly asked about Doki Bird and the impact it had. I wonder if most companies have their key stakeholder names available for forums. Are they notified of the goings on? They probably are. Uh, they will think of this way. JP Market is already oversaturated. Overseas expansion is the only place to expand. If the overseas branch folds, why would anyone want to invest in a company that has no market left to grow? Also, how life has clear advantage in terms of global expansion, and they are making it bigger, by the way. As you can see in their quarter four reports, this is why their stocks are skyrocketed yesterday. It's only a matter of time until the rest of the investors realize and start betting on the winning side. Separate is just a piece, a larger movement. A lot of people boycotted Nidhi Sanji, but not all of them found their way here. To be honest, I don't think so. Investors such meetings are rich folks. They may want to wait it out. They may end up waiting out. We are barking and shouting at as a black company. For most investors, they do not care. All they care about is whether the CEO is bringing them good dividends, profit. As long as the CEO does exactly that, they won't care. Yeah, investors only care about profit, really, to be honest with you. And that's the main thing. Investors care about profit. Nidhi Sanji cares about profit. So that is, as long as profit keeps coming, they're not going to care about, about the quarter four too much. Here we're going into a comparison of per VTuber uh, numbers, like when it comes to the... Um, the actual money made hollow is obvious giant but it also has become obvious it slipped into the number two spot on the en i think so by the way pippa mogs everyone on the list scarlet numbers are strong with her level of ccv fernana rose numbers are, are and rosemi numbers are grim so here's where we're going at our last 30 days per stream average this is someone who made a a uh, excel spreadsheet so take it with a grain of salt take it as kind of theory rumor etc Phase Pippa has 907 average revenues and average supers per stream. Niji En Scarla has 592, so at least Scarla is doing pretty well. ID Leah Clara also have pretty good numbers. Anna is doing 301 per stream average. Uh, Millie 289, and this is of course you have really high numbers and really no numbers that are put into this. Uh, Millie is doing 289. The rest are Phase. Uh, another one is Indy Miori has 100 per per stream. Elira has 104 per stream. Down here, we have, of course, um, Niji N, Rosemary, and Petra, 75 and 74 per stream, respectively. Uh, Kawaii Nene, Idol and Juna, all these people. Finana has 52 per stream. So the numbers aren't looking that great. Claire is averaging 69 supas. It's the uh, Siwawa stuff, but grabs for the clown. Expect this to happen later, not sooner, like this level sooner or later. Uh, Fishman aiming for Niji N's spot of the former number two with a squad of mental asylum patients. How anyway, effing Philippines, hurry up and re-allowing 5.56. Oh god. 
Um, I'm not at least pretty surprised that Miori is up there too. Yuko being parasocial girl clone variant having to tone it down for really effed Riro's shenanigans. Yeah. Um, Yuko went back to her PL on to stream. Finana is going to become an income measure unit too. I guess so. Also, if I remember correctly, Idol heavily relies on YouTube donations. That's why numbers are like that, except Yuko's basically graduated at this point. The stats are based off of, they're based off of like the full super chats. And then you divide them by the number of streams that they have. Uh, Pippa never in her wildest streams, which you imagine that they'd do better than Nidhi Sanji. Unrelated, but I like Wemmy's uh, deserves more. Uh, she does have bad luck due to her health, but she is goddamn cute and entertaining. So yeah, just a little bit of numbers, 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 numbers for those people who like numbers, of course. These uh, Japanese drama tuber channel, it was an AI voice generated channel. Uh, it was meant to be, uh, you know, just like kind of the same thing I do, but you're not using their actual voice using something like that. So um, most likely lawsuit threat because Japan's defamation laws. It could be litigation costs tons of money to even get in, it get out intact. Winning is another matter, probably even more money plus years. Given recent news, seems they're trying some kind of sweeping purge to control the narrative. Smaller targets hit first. Wonder if they ever touch big fishes like Kyo, False, or even Mujin. They can't. They already tried with Kyo and False before. Clearly, it didn't work. Yeah, it seems like Nidhi Sanji is going after the uh, the smaller channels. Three days ago, they stopped. They stopped posting. Um, it seems like, yes, they're going after the smaller channels, um, and it sucks for them, but it's Japan. It's unfortunately Japan. Japan, defamation and slander hits even if you're telling the truth, even if you're reporting correct news. Um, the only time that you're kind of uh, prevent protected from that is if it's in the public interest, but you have to be a large uh, journalistic entity, large group, in order to defend yourself against any kind of claims against what you're doing. Uh, they're not... In Japan, so didn't come under Japanese law, and they most likely can do purge Japanese ones only. Respect. Looks like any color threatened the channel. Sounds like an any color got them. Thank you for the service. Has the channel covered Niji drama a lot, or is it known specific content draw? It's covered a lot of Niji drama. I've been watching their channel every now and then. They talked about a ton of major ones. They did. They talked about a lot of major ones. Uh, Rainbow emoji refers to Niji Sanji, obviously, but what's the cat refer to? Neko agency. Mika Neko. Japan's defamation laws are S. They are. Feeling something's going on. Quarter four is bad. They're preparing for graduations. Doki's going most likely to an anime expo. She talked about it in her charity stream. Uh, there'll be conflicts. No one can deny that. It all happened to cover quarter four. That's what it looks like. It looks like it's they're trying to damage control, and they're going after small channels to try to damage control, which sucks for the small channels. This dude is a dude who, well, is trying to help uh, the person, Shizzy, uh, is trying to help them out. And I covered this yesterday. Uh, they're just basically, you're going to have more people like him. You're going to have more people like this guy here who is trying to use Capcom and trying to use that kind of force to be a force of evil, a force of bad, a force to damage someone else like Ame for something that they did before they even joined uh, Hololive. So this is something that she did. She sang a song that used the N-word and she apologized profusely during that time. She was like, oops, you know, I didn't, I didn't um, censor Parts that I needed to censor. I didn't get the censored lyrics. I apologize. This was before she ended up being uh, um, Amelia Watson. This is way before she ended up being Amelia Watson. So that's the problem. Uh, this guy has a history of stuff like this. He's all bark and no bite. It is interesting seeing him grandstand about how he stands for everything he said and won't back down in between deleting posts and editing parts of his original video. So these people like this, they go strong. And they get clipped. Of course they get clipped. But they go strong. And they want to seem like they're doing, you know, whatever it is. Uh, positive or whatever you want to call it. Um, yet, when they're actually affected, when they're actually getting backlash, they delete their stuff. It's funny how I made a tweet talking about standing on business. And then proceeds to go on a back blocking spree because people are rightfully criticizing. Sorry, but... Also spreading a website with her docs on it. Time to open up the cover report page. <clears throat> Save a web archive of the page. Screenshot for definitive evidence. Submit it privately. Don't spread it around. They aren't dumb. They're going to respond to your report. They're likely to make a paper trail. Yeah. More info about him. The info about the, the, the guy who's trying to dox. He's R against his ace agents. He's this guy. He's that. He does. Dang, he's bad. Being RL mugger. Decade long friendship with known Smash Bros. P yeah. P files, uh, domestic. That guy paranoid over his ex, harasses others. Others, he discredits critics. He doxed Ame. Anger management, flexes being friends, 
owes $1,500 to his ex for commissions, he uses these VTuber models without permission, blocks and deletes any criticism, and then claims to be standing on business. He's legitimately unhinged and is rallying crazy people around him based solely on, on the, the, you know, the R stuff. Uh, he's milking drama and made five final statements because he knows any attention equals good attention. For reference, his latest videos are some of the most popular on his channel and only uh, the most viewed were made greater than eight years ago. He's doing it for content. Won't be surprised at that if he gets, you know, actually gets retribution for this. Hope it will not come to this point. Cover report page go burr. Can't wait for cover to go and, and go against them. Of course, uh, guy came up with some good critic points that will give him a pass to generalize everything. It's mere, uh, this kind of stuff on everywhere. All the while doing baiting. A lot of guys got baited by his acting. Now it's content for months and the face of all good creators losing sleep hours in attempt to cook something interesting when wholesome for the community. Like, you know, I do lose sleep sometimes. Uh, good creators do lose sleep sometimes. I put out a lot of videos and I, I work my butt off for these videos and he's just making, you know, baiting type stuff. Many people like this IRL at university while I moved far from left to center left. Christian conservatives and ironically treated me better. Yeah, it's just basically the people who make their identity about, you know, being against these types of things. Um, generally, they are the ones that end up grifting at the end. Poor them to cover. Recently, cover emailed back. I, I reported about Cheesy's video and said they are relaying it to their relevant departments. Thanking me for informing them. You also report it too. Cover is really serious about the sort of thing. Of course, they're going to be serious about it. It affects their talents. It affects their bottom line. It is basically slander and defamation. We are moving on to Maid Mint, Mint Phantom. Uh, it feels unbelievable to me that I can have one of my favorite illustrators want to draw me and want to collab with me. Probably so many people are going to see her and don't even know who I am. When she first messaged me about it, I was so shocked she chose me. It's truly an honor. She's growing. Things are going well for her. And changing from, of course, missing a lifetime opportunity as Pomo. And um, she finally found her happiness, just like Michi Mochi V, Mika Melatika. Same thing with uh, Mata Rakan, Nina Kosaka, Mr. Rias, Kenai Kudo, Quinn, Kyo. You know, all these people, unnamed Yugo, all these people are, are doing so much better outside. Doki Bird, Selen. Hope the others can experience this kind of joy once they get out. Michi and Mata have already indicated that they are. Chances are good the other talents won't want to leave as well. Once they each get out of each company, making sure they're worth so much more than what the company makes them out to be. Because if you remember correctly, the company itself makes it makes them feel like they are useless without the company. It can't be understated how healthier and better each of the livers would be without needing holding them back. Proper management, support for mental health, actual training, PR training, actual human resources. The amount of trouble Niji allows their livers to put themselves through actively causes is ridiculous. Man, seeing that tweet alone brightened up my day. Happy Mint, happy life. Ultimate victory will be is the most probably idle group that she lost opportunity with, reaches out to Mint. And this rate, I'm a matter of when and not if. Any idea when his favorite illustrator? She had a collab with I Am Mama. I remember that. It is Yozara Mel's illustrator yesterday. So it's I Am Mama. Sorry for the gush posting. The entire stream was a doujin plot. A uh, lewd artist reaches out to the VTuber Oshi. Asks their body reference for lewds. Invites them to not hot springs. Exactly. It was all a good, a good arc. What are they talking about this? They're talking about this one, which is, you know, Mint going through her stuff here. You know, with, with Ami, it's looking at um, all the, 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 the Mel stuff, talking about, you know, doing uh, actual art of her with uh, the references, uh, asked her to do lewd art, that type of stuff. It was it was really good stuff. It was really fun stuff. <clears throat> I am Mama, which is the one who did Mel, of course, and uh, doing a bit of chit chat about Mel recently. So it is very, very, very positive that this is happening to Made Mint. I'm very, very happy. And of course, I wanted to show the sources as I showed here, because sources are always very important. A thing that is going on. When you are someone that is trying to, to get a clout by causing drama in the world, but actually creating drama, you're going to get hit by your own weapon eventually. I need to get this off my chest. I've seen videos of, of the god buzzing around this platform the past few days. I just need to point out that some hypocrisy and bring up some points. And this, of course, is from Woofer here, which is a hellhound just looking for coffee, Twitch partner, and spiral lover. They're writing this about Shizzy. For anyone who needs additional outside context, Woofy dated Shizzy. She dated Shizzy uh, at the beginning of COVID, and we broke up about a year after. Worked on his first model around December 2020. Started working on model 2.0 in the spring of 2023. Sent files in November 2023, but worked in additions throughout December. So this is their their proof that they've been doing this stuff for them. They did the models for Shizzy. This is the one that they currently use. 
Talking about deep voice VTubers, Shizzy the God mocks deep voice VTubers, but also says if your natural voice is deep, then it's all good. Interesting, considering he harassed a deep voice, he harassed a deep voice VTuber, calling him a cancer patient and corpse wannabe multiple times. Shizzy also falsely accused him of having that not true and smoking cigarettes also not true in order to get the voice he has. All of which was out of malice because the VTuber involved is close to me and would play games with me regularly. The bout of jealousy resulted in Shizzy talking poorly of the other VTuber. Even if it's out of hurt, it doesn't make it right. Outside of my own experience with Shizzy, a handful of people in this community voice act. Uh, if people want to rock a different voice from what is natural, then so be it. Is, is some of it corny? Sure. But it's for you. Don't watch. If it isn't for you, don't watch. It's just a creative space and people shouldn't be ashamed of doing something like that. They continue uh, talking about VTuber assets. He brings up VTuber assets and how they're none for uh, melanated models, which is true for most pe people of color creators. It's not true for Shizzy and is 1.0 and 2.0 model designer artists. You probably never know who knows if I will receive credit in the future. I have made around 40 unique toggles from his hands, faces, recolors, clothing, his model, especially since it's very unique and will not mix well with available assets and do come in melanated shades. Even after receiving the final files, Shizzy still owes me money. So it owes her money of $1,500 behind three months already. Monthly payments blocked in all forums. So Shizzy is scamming her is has basically made it so that they can't contact they can't do anything owes 1500 bucks this guy who's trying to stand on a high horse on an ivory tower has all these negative things if you try to stand an ivory tower eventually you're going to get knocked down and stuff will come out and has agreed upon monthly payments i am blocked on all forms of communication so i can't even ask about it i have to trust you will pay the agreed upon total of six thousand by december 2024 so she's behind 1500 he is already behind shizzy's already behind 1500 in total owed 6,000. He has prioritized purchasing a new 3D and gummy model instead of paying towards the old model. He's also using the exact art from the 2D model design for his current 3D model and gummy model without asking or crediting me. Some of the assets are literal copy paste of the art from the original. Just redraw it, man. I don't want to be upset with the artist, but I kind of am because it's literally ripped and not redrawn. I don't know who made the 3D model or gummy model, but using, um, like using the art without crediting or changing is frustrating. I tried to handle things privately for months, but again, blocked on everything. I just want to be paid so I can move on, heal, and be done with it. I put a lot of people on back burner for him and his model because I was promised to be paid for all rushing and work. On top of being rushed live on streams and threatened in DMs. That's all to say he has assets in 2024. Assets are becoming more available and accessible to all. Not everything is going to be free. If you want a certain asset, don't complain to creators that are making free assets. Please hire someone to make what you are looking for. People doing nice things shouldn't be S on for no reasons. Handful of black artists and other artists are open and available for you to help you out. Could you be there? Could you? Could there be more? Yes. Is there an issue with artists denying service? Yes. And if they do, call them out. But many of my fellow black creators keep or ignoring the artists that are available for what they are looking for. So I don't get it. Melanin Mafia has lists for your convenience. Again, bringing up the artists that do refuse working with darker skin should be outed. Now that's a topic I can get behind. Most of the assets and faces below, majority cut for full rigging, unique movement versus the examples of art used for other models. So this person did all of these things. All of these things. Bree did all of these models, all of these expressions, all of these things, and they weren't paid. Like, look at all this. They did all of this stuff and they weren't paid. They aren't paid. They're behind 1500 bucks and they weren't paid. Look at all this. This is BS, man. Honestly, it's really bad. <clears throat> and he mocks VTubers audience for shipping, basically. Uh, talks about shipping VTubers based on fan art, commissioned art, saying you shouldn't force relationships based on a photo. She did literally harass myself and other VTubers because of YCH, your character here promo. I made for my community, I'm single, as well as threatening the other VTubers' life because an art piece of mutual friend of ours drew of us for Christmas. Not S in any way, not even hugging, just standing, by the way. Again, not dating anyone. He even went as far as to no longer hiring the artist anymore, blocking and canceling work for them. Uh, with them and just because of the art piece I understand he's quick to anger and obsessive over me who I talk to this is still not appropriate behavior to exude regardless of the fine details of our relationship innocent parties don't deserve to have their livelihood threatened a multiple multitude of times even fearing to show up to conventions due to the God's treatment by no means am I saying that there was perfect in our relationship with no, with one or the other but I tried my best to make a neutral space to conduct and finish our business a lot of toxicity and poor behavior was conducted throughout the past year I kept my mouth shut about private situations with others, I'm not one to expose or talk about S that I can handle on my own. But when friends or money is involved, it gets a bit muddy. I have to have to deal with a lot of handling my breakup with Shizzy. Between him befriending my friends and other streamers I'm close in, 
in order to keep tabs on me or if it benefited him, was neither interested in my friends prior to our breakup, just a fraction of the harassment I live on on Twitch. And there's on Twitter and Twitch. Here's the things that they have done, all the different ones, of course, saying, Weird, it's effing art. You're mad over some pixels I share with my community. No, you effing idiot. This is Shizzy, by the way, saying this. I drew that S with romance. Holding a spiral toy, ain't wearing a spiral onesie. All the hearts match. All those ones that that are your R, because you're acting like it. We had no matching ones that was used as basis for to sell others. I do that every time I do a you, you, your character here. Get over it. Whatever, Shorty K. Like I said, I got to deal with you not, char not changing those trash ass onesies. You got to deal with me not wanting to see it. Dear Lordy, man, just leave. Like, deleted by Woofy. It's to the point I want to F up this guy up. Deleted by Woofy, and I feel bad for him. Deleted by Woofy. I'm effing demon where I'm from. Not get with any S like this. I get my hands on him, or boy, I'm going to jail. Uh, let me slide out here before I start wilding out. So yeah, this guy is obsessive. This person is very obsessive. Like, very obsessive. There's a lot of skeletons in your closet when you do these types of things. Always. On top of deleting every single Discord message ever sent to my main and most art accounts to hide all this toxic behavior, threats, and mental emotional abuse. When he states that he stands on business and not afraid of skeletons, I'm tired. I'm tired of reading about how he's a hero to the black community. I'm tired of the black community being okay with someone, being aggressive, rude, hurtful, just because they are telling the truth and because he's an ex-battle rapper. This is VTubing. We aren't battle rapping. These anime wife whose husband does aren't holding a match to him or they're trying to. Just a little example, the deleted message is hard to follow with all the deletes. Again, our entire Discord history has been deleted. This is, um, I'm going to open a new tab, see if I can. Uh, yes, I can. Okay, perfect. It says you're getting your credits regardless. I think you're S person, but I respect your craft. Given an option, she had mentioned wanting no credits, PayPal. Yeah, no, after you get the model, and we're completely done. This is just so you don't see me on Discord anymore. It's fine. I gave the invoice once ago, so I don't know. Thank you, whatever. Uh, you know, don't think you asked on me in the moment you started uh, thoughting around. So he's he's claiming that she's thoughting around. Of course, I feel like how I do. Prove my thoughts, LFMFAO. This person is just, like you're seeing here, reserve my right to feel a type of way when you showed me the difference in your endeavors with this bum when you're talking. This guy is getting very obsessive. Playing games, being friendly, is, is not thoughting around. Uh, regardless, I'm single and I have been single. And even if the, she wasn't, that is her business, not his, you know? Like you said, it's a business, so it's not conversation I'm having with you. You receive your files on 23rd. Your files will arrive on the 23rd. It's more than being friendly and playing games, considering you're over smutting around. Yeah, this guy is really, holy crap. Uh, it's not, yeah, no, this is not, this is not good. Uh, ETA, don't have your mom send me anything. Uh, don't want her weird butt getting near my S. Uh, it's, it's, you received an email from PayPal in regards to a dispute for this once I haven't received the files. Have your mother, and then have your mother send me the files. Uh, it, so he says first no, and then he says yes, have your mother send the files. This guy is like, he's wild and he's freaking being schizo and everything. Also, business understanding you're bigger than me and can steal from me way more than I could ever steal from you. Your files will be delivered as soon as I get my, to my PC on the 23rd around noon. You played the S out of me. I don't know why you're expecting me to be nice. You want the sketches for the alternative outfits? Okay, just want the PSD, the, the, the Photoshop file for everything. Uh, good, enjoy your thought time and enjoy S blank whatever i just want my s so we can finish this deal this dude is like holy crap man this dude is he's just freaking crazy he's being aggressive he's being too much using hot trending topics to bolster debut comes off as bait it worked i uh, i brought out every r and rage baiter from their holes and also showed who the black community is okay with violence and disrespect as long as it's coming from the mouth of a big enough creator someone admits to being toxic violent unapologetic and it's okay to y'all there could have uh, finally been a constructive convo around racism in their community, but instead it's been turned into a dumpster fire. There are a lot of real examples of this and troll ones were chosen at the time this time around. Even though these topics have been brought up numerous times, it takes someone slightly clouded for anyone outside of the black community to finally care. Sad, really, you should all want more and, and do better. I take it as you will. I'm just sick of being quiet, little mouse, when it comes to S I've dealt with, uh, I'm being with over the years. Big streamers get away with a lot, and I'm just being tired of being someone's stepping stone. Of course, of course, you know. Needless to say, this is not an excuse to continue the R comments. Kind of wish I could just help in the endeavor, but you showed all the stuff. I fear for your safety and all of this. I do hope that they're safe. This is a big thing. He will probably respond to it. He will probably respond in the angry way that he seems to always respond to things. And, um, you know, I do hope for their safety. And I am happy that they actually put this out. And I'm putting this out, too, because they need to be, uh, you know, signal boosted they need to have this news out there because this person is trying to use clout and saying you know other uh vtubers are are racist or are are you know abusive or whatever and here he goes having a lot of skeletons in his closet as these people who try to be high and mighty always do
That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.